I walked into a pet shop. I said, can I have a goldfish? They said, do you want an aquarium? I said, I don't care what star sign it is. <laughs> that one was terrible, that one, sorry. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Right, so I haven't been up long, so you can see my eyes are a bit puffy. So I do apologise for that. Right, so today we're going to be reviewing the H96X. And it does actually have some pretty good specifications. But let's have a look at it and let's get honest with it, eh? So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I want to thank the China Box store for sending this product out to review. And if you are interested at looking at the box, I will leave links in the description down below. So as we know, we don't do a complete unboxing. It's just very fast and show you the box and what's on it. Right, so as you can see, that's the box. It is pretty long, to be honest. And it does feel pretty sturdy as well. As you can see, that's the front of the box. Obviously, you're going to have some kind of LED display by the looks. On the left-hand side of the box, you've got an SD card slot, a USB 3.0 and a USB 2.0. On the back of the box, you've got a USB, you've got the Ethernet, AV, optical, the power. You've actually got a power button on the back as well. I don't know if you can see that because my camera's dog shit. But you've also got a HDMI in and a HDMI out. So obviously the HDMI out is what you're going to connect to your TV, but the HDMI in is more than likely going to be a device that you want to play through the box. That's pretty cool. And then on the other side, the right hand side, you've got nothing. Obviously we get the plug, a brand new HDMI cable, and an IO remote. I think obviously as standard now, majority of Android boxes do come with dog shit remotes. But they do do the job. But there are also other remotes you can look at that may make it a bit easier to navigate around your device. But I will leave links in the description down below. Oh, and don't forget, you get a manual as well. We always like a manual that we don't read. Because you don't need to read that shit because you've got free tech. <laughs> right, so for those who like to see, I'm gonna put some specifications up on the screen now. Right, so as you can see, the GPU, so the graphics is a Mali T720. It runs the system of Android 9.0. The CPU is the all-winner H603 quad-core, CPU being the processor. It's DDR3 RAM, and it is available in 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, and 64 gigabyte ROM, ROM being storage. It supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and it supports 5.1 surround sound, and also H265 decoding, whatever that means, I don't know that shit. Right, so enough of that boring shit, let's go and have a look at the box and see if we can criticise it, or is it worth you investing in? So let's crack on! Right then, so as you can see, when we boot the box up, it just loads up like this, it doesn't ask us to sign into as Wi-Fi, doesn't ask us to sign into Google or anything, this is just startup, which I kind of like. This is what the homepage looks like, it looks alright, I suppose you've got a KD player, which is literally a version of Kodi, when it's opened, it's exactly the same. You've got YouTube, your Google Chrome, Google Play Store, Miracast, your file browser settings and apps. So if we go into the apps, the only ones I've added in here is Cat Mouse, File Linked, Puffin TV and Amazon Prime Video. The rest were already on here ready. You do see I've got Miracast there. I did try it with my Galaxy S10. I installed the Miracast onto my phone and honestly it just paired up straight away and it works quite well. And as you can see you've got the Air Screen app as well. So this is for your iOS devices, iPhones and things. So that's how to mirror that as well and both of them come on the box as standard. So let's see what kind of content plays on the box. So we're just going to go into YouTube and play some 4K content and see how it handles it. Does it buffer? So one pops up straight away, so we'll click on that. I can't spend too long on it. So then as you can see, that's playing quite smooth, that, and it is a really, really good picture. We're going to just take a look at what quality it's playing in. So at the moment, it is in 1080p, although it did look like better quality, but we will put it into 4K and see how it handles that. And as you can see, great picture, and it does look like it's playing pretty well. Next, you will see we've got Netflix on there. It doesn't look like the official app, what you can get on normal Android TVs that are supported. This looks like the mobile phone version, but I did test it, and it does play content, and it has got sound, which is nice to know. As you can see, you can navigate around the app, which with the normal mobile version, you cannot. And if we just click on something, and when you scroll down to the episodes, you can see that they're not actually highlighting. So you may have to use the mouse function on your remote just to click that, and then that's as easy as that. 
I'm not actually 100% what quality that's playing in because this TV I'm using is dog shit. <laughs> but it has got sound and it is a decent picture. Well, it looks like it is. Next of all, I installed Prime Video from the Google Play Store. So if you scroll down, you can't really see on these sections what you're actually highlighting. It's really just a little bit in the bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail. You can see a little light where it will be behind it. So if I want to click on, say, Grand Tour, I need to get that there, click on it, and this should be it. Although it does look like you may have to use the mouse inside that as well. But when you get through from the thumbnail, as you can see, you can use it quite well and navigate like that. So next, we've got the little test of does it highlight the top bar inside applications like your Terrarium TV clones, such as Cyberflix, Cat Mouse, Titanium TV, Typhoon, all apps like that. They've got a top bar with a hamburger menu on three-line button. So as you can see, I'm clicking up and I cannot go to the top bar. So you will have to use the mouse function for that as well. And as you can see, you will need to press that to navigate up to there. Then turn the mouse off and then you can highlight those. Another thing on the home screen as well, you can't really customise it too much. As you can see, Netflix is there as well. I didn't even see that. <laughs> but as you can see at the bottom, you've got a plus symbol. And this is where you can add your favourites into there. So if I had cat mouse and file links and I click on back, you will see that they get added to the home page. So as you can see, it comes with Google Chrome on it at the moment, and this is the only browser it has. So what we did is went to Let's Crack On .org, installed Puffin TV, and I really recommend you do this on all boxes. It's a lot easier to navigate. Navigate? Whoa. As it's a lot easier to navigate, it's got its own built-in mouse function as well, and it's so easy to manage your downstalls. Downstalls? Wowzers. So as you can see, Puffin TV is just a lot easier to navigate, and I would recommend you install this on all your boxes, to be honest. So last of all, we're going to test the Wi-Fi speeds on the box as well. So if you click on that, I've not really, I've spelt it with a space, I don't know why, hopefully it's going to register it as, there we go, look. So as you can see on that test, it's giving 48 megabits download, I'll give it one more test. But one thing to note, with a lot of Android boxes now, there is a cap at 100 megabits download speeds anyway. I'm really not very good at talking, and I do apologise. <laughs> right, so that time it's a speed of 25, so not the best in the world, we've got to be honest. But let's jump over and have a look at the prices of the box. So this is what you'll visit if you visit the link in the description down below. And as you can see, from £21.84. So you can kind of see why you do get some losses inside different apps and features and what's supported and what's not. Whereas if you're paying £180 for a Nvidia Shield, you're going to expect a lot better quality. But not every person's got that kind of money to spend on a streaming device. And then as you can see, you've got different options here. So as you can see on that one, it's 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. If you go and click on that one, as you can see, that one's 4GB of RAM, 32GB of storage. And then that one's a 64 gig of storage for £32. And then if you start clicking the options above that, you will notice they do come with remotes included. So these ones will be USB remotes that are just a lot better quality than the ones that come standard. And then as you can see, if we go to the best package with the best remote with a QWERTY keyboard on the back, and it is backlit, it's 4 gigabyte of RAM and 64 gigabyte of storage, all for £39. So for a device that's got Android 9.0, 4 gigabyte of RAM, 64 gigabyte of storage, and the old Winner H603 quad core, I do think that's a, that's not a bad price, if I'm honest. But you'll be the judge of that. You comment down below and tell those mother fluffers what you think. <laughs> if you are using it on a mobile device as well, you may have to click on where it says colour. And if you go onto colour, it will bring up these different options. Right, so that's it. That's the video for today. Is the box worth it, in my opinion? The price is pretty low for what it is. I do like the Miracast feature and the AirPlay feature on there already. It does play Netflix, but there's also a couple of things I don't like about it. Such as you can't highlight the top bar inside of APKs. The official Netflix and Amazon Prime don't seem to work very well with it. But I suppose for the price... You've got to expect to cut some losses. But I hope this video helps you make a decision if you are looking into the box. If you are looking around this price range, then yeah, maybe. But yeah, I'm going now because I'm fed up and that's a midweek review. <laughs> don't know what that was then. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Go and press that subscribe and then click that little bell icon next to it to get a notification every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da. Without you. Remember
remember myself, my name.